hello welcome to my channel um i was been talking about going through and cleaning up my space um i think we have a little i don't know if we have a lighting issue or not hold on nay can you turn on the overhead light for me i know he's getting his pill and here i am asking him to do something for me Oh, good thing that cup was empty. This is me trying to get my light over here. I've got, um, I kind of had a, uh, a temporary desk situation going while I was sick. So that's the first thing I need to do is sort through those boxes and, and whatnot and get them... Yes, this is what uh, changing your space is like. Um, so, yes, I got my painting papers over here drying, too. So, this one is the one I just sewed, and I just stuck a napkin on it, trying for the best. And then, got little birdies. Can't sell them, but I can use them for gifts. Um, Alright, I've got a donation box. A donatable donation box. Uh, who who inspires you when it comes to organizing and cleaning? For me, um, okay, oh shoot, I was just watching her and I was um, gonna get her name, I forget. The creative organizer, I think. The crafty organizer, that might be it. That might be her, excuse me. Excuse my hair. Put that away. So I actually know where that goes. And paints. I do have a drawer for my paints. So those can go straight away when I find those. Like, well, they're in my desk right here, but let me get them out of the way. And there appears to be, oops, that one doesn't go there. That's one of my metallic paints. It goes here and then goes over there. Now eventually you'll see these are napkins that are have already been used to some degree or I don't know whatever they just I have a bag for those for when I find them they just get tucked in that bag and then go back over with the napkins and I can't really reach my paper right now so I want a box that I can use for paper this is actually stuff this is actually all giveaway here. So I can go in there. And this will be for paper when I find it. Because I can't really reach where my actual paper is right now. Alright, and then stamps. I have a box for stamps. It's not like organized and really nice right now, but it's a container and I may allow myself two containers for stamps. We'll see. More painty papers. This is fussy cut stuff or stickers. Oh, shoot, I had a box of stickers. <coughs> this is stickers right here. So when I find stickers, I can put them in this. And my painty papers and tags, um, they're all works in progress, I guess. Um, and then scrap papers. Inks are, had all my, oh, my inks are under here. Just random, you know. And this envelope. My aunt mailed me something, and I don't really need to save all that. Alright, so painty papers that I'm still working on. Sorry if my head keeps getting in there. I'm not used to the camera being at this angle. And the cat's getting very interested in what I'm doing. 
So I'll have to create a box for this project that I'm working on with all these painty papers. And then, what's next? This goes with stickers, not stickers, you know, stamps. Stick that up there with the stamps. This, yeah, I'm just gonna crash it. These are fussy cuts. I had a bag for fussy cuts. Before right now, I'm gonna stick it on top of the stickers. Book page. Um, I'm sure I have a place for book page. I just need to put it somewhere for now until I have a permanent place for it. And this is why it's so hard for me to organize because you know what I'll do? I'll like empty this box and be like, okay, there's book pages. Put that there for now. Allie, what is something on your floor that you're trying to get? What is that? What is it? It's a circle. Uh, fussy cut. It's kind of uh, This is a card. Index card pocket. Okay. Let's see. I have a place for cards. But I probably had him out to go in my winter journal. So this is part of my problem too. Is I have such a random, random, super random. Alright, these just are little tiny tags that can go in pockets. I would say they're finished. What do you think? I have... A box under here. I think it's right, right there. That's my box of finished items. <clears throat> All right, here is these are flowers. Fussy cut flowers. But I'll put those up there with a the fussy cut. These, she somehow got that circle underneath the, her little box there. I'm not sure. These are things in progress. A little tag that's done tiny little tag with the winter bird scrap paper scrap paper um unfinished journal card which are in this box I believe I hope scrap paper scrap paper sandpaper I have a lot of scraps that will be fussy cut about all well, winter Christmas I had a box one of these boxes over here is for scraps, but other stuff has got mixed in. So, let's find. I have all these bags. Where did they go? No, no. Well, little scraps. I'll just stick in here for now. Hallie, no. No, 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 no. You need to get down. Look, now you want to be all up in the picture, huh? I actually have a separate place for labels. Um, that was scraps. And numbers. Alright, and we have stencil. That's actually stencil I don't absolutely love, so I'm going to give away. This is Christmas stuff, which is still out I'm right here. Kind of. Can't get to it easily. There's other stuff on it. Of course there is. Why wouldn't there be other stuff on it? So I was doing a lot of collaging and stuff when I was sick. Alright, lace. I have a box for lace. But for now, I have a box with just any kind of fabric stuff till I can put it away. Fussy cut. Fussy cut. Scrap. Uh, faux stamp. It's a finished product. That will be fussy cut. And that's Christmassy. Winter Christmassy. That's baking, but that's alright. I'm not getting that. Uh, this is a pocket I was going to. So this is a base. As was, let's see, scrap. Scrap. This is a base. I think somebody made that. Got that in half and now actually it's probably a finished tag. Uh, texture. I put texture somewhere else. I should have just put it with scraps, but 
These are bases to add something to. Finish tags. Oh, did, did you still have treats in that box, Hallie? I stuck some treats in that box the other day. And envelope I started collaging, not finished yet. Started collaging, not finished. And that's a base for something. These are finished tags, so why are they not in with the finished tag? I don't know. And um, I don't know what that is. That's a base. Base. It's all about that base. These are bases. That's finished tag. That has a challenge. I don't always like the ones I make. Oh, base. That'd be a corner pocket base. Scrap. Scrap. This is, all right, we could say that's just like a little journal card that's done, right? Uh, that's a, it's a collaged piece that just needs something done to it to finish it. And I had a box for that stuff. So it kind of goes with this unfinished. Okay, we'll just stick them all unfinished. Collage pieces that are unfinished. Oh, I was thinking about using that. I don't care enough as a uh, what you call it. Okay, I'd say that one can be done. I mean, if it's at least pretty much done, maybe all it needs is a little piece of lace or a tag or something. I'm gonna put it in the done. But like some of these, this is actually scrap. Some of these need either sewing or I don't know. They need more. These are just little tags I got at the thrift store that can go in pockets when I need them. This is six by six piece of paper, scrap, base, 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 base that I can make something on envelope. Uh, I'm not sure where to put those base, base. This goes with my uh, scrap. This goes with my inks because I did a. Um, yeah, they're still not all in one place. So, that goes with the smaller paint walls Christmas, but. All right, scraps. This is a bit, I, well, this was a, um, more of a prototype because I've already, um, glued it. And I've made another one. I guess it goes in my idea journal. Stick that on the bottom there. Word. Scrap, ephemera, I'll put that with words for now, uh, picture, oops, oops, or, you know, fussy cut type stuff, scrap, scrap, little tags, base, base, it's a doily but it's ripped so it's going in scraps, I would use that in collage too, so I'm just going to stick it there, um, I've had this for over a year and I still haven't used it. So I don't know. I'll put it back. I need a use, or, use it or lose it kind of a box. All right, and this is vintage book page that I'm going to use to make pockets. So I'm putting it with the um, bases. Scraps, scraps. I had all my little scraps in bags by color, but I'm not sure that I really like that. Do you know what I think that is? Yeah, I'm not using them. <laughs> uh, I haven't used them in a long time, but all that coughing, I needed to break them out of storage. That's the reason I kept them for when I get a cough. Scrap, 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 scrap. This was a base. I started making something. This was a base of something. So just need something base. Fussy cut. She's in the dark. She's like super. I don't know what you can see down here. And another fussy cut. Scrap. More birds. So yeah, just this is just 
a lot of sorting in this pile. That will be fussy cut. And um, fabric scrap. Fabrics go there. And a magazine. I don't know if my dad wants to read it before I destroy it or not. Base. This is a painty base. 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 Trash. Stamp. What else? Let's see. This was a base. Ink. Stamps go up here, but I'm gonna set those up there because I've got more letters that are on the tray. And my brushes go up here in my owl mug. What you thinking about doing, Allie? Yeah, this is probably why I actually didn't get much crafting done while I was sick because it's just kind of overwhelming, isn't it? It's just a lot of stuff. The pocket. I really just stick it there for base right now. Funny. Another bird. Cute. I meant to wash that gesso off my hands first. Scrap, scrap, scrap. Ephemera, ephemera, ephemera. Scrap. And that's so much sticky on it, it's just gross now. Scrap. Probably only seeing my head. I don't even know. Um, deer, birds. Scrap, scrap, Bessie cut, scrap, 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 base, scrap, base, some Japanese scraps, I think it's Japanese, base, base, it's all about that base, my son hates when I sing that, more, Fussy cuts. It's another base. Most of these were already bases, so I don't even know what I was thinking I was going to do with them while I was while I was sick. Scrap. Base. If I find some that I made while I was sick, I'll show you. I did a uh, fussy cutting at first. I kind of took apart that book the first week or so. Hallie, I know people finally get to see you because you're getting up in the camera, but do you have to? Do you have to get up in the camera? That's what I want to know. So a lot of bases. I was hoping to make more cards than I did. More tags than I did. <coughs> Excuse me. Um. Oh, Hallie. No. No, 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 no. All my paint chips. I gotta find a place for paint chips. My scraps box is getting full. I think that was a base. This is a base. That's a scrap. That's a word. Base. Paint chip. Uh, I'm not gonna keep scrap. Some of these bases, especially the thinner ones, I can use as scrap. But for right now, they'll go in my bases. And some of these bases are just plain white. They'll be perfect for doing some painting on. I just forgot about them when I did some painting. That's all. Okay, lots of bases. So, and I would use that as a base probably. Paint chip, paint chip. Um, probably put that with my fussy cutting ephemera. Scrap. And it's kind of a base. I actually use those to trace them. and um, make more. Okay, now these I think are pretty much done. These I worked on. I had the backgrounds and then I added the stamping. 
Uh, this one probably needs a um, something right here. This one might or be these might be fine how they are. I'm going to put them in the finish for now because I may sell them unfinished like that so that other people can put on what they want to put on. I don't know yet. I'm hoping you're not just I'm trying to get my head over here I guess I'll I'll have to watch it before I upload it to make sure that I'm not just um just not just my head completely all right this is kind of a bigger piece of paper so I'm going to put it in there that one as well more bases there's another one that I stamped and another one that I stamped so I'm going to put those in the finished dish that's another one that I stamped had the base part done and that's another one I really like that one that's why I got the leaves because I wanted to do them on tags and have them be kind of uh, nature I wanted some nature inspired type tags here's another one sticking those in my finished box down there something to be used as a base more scrap the labels have their own spot. Tickets have their own spot. You can see I had a lot of ambition here with all these bases, didn't I? Got a few things done while I was sick, but no, that's way. You know, you like to have options, so I'm a little crazy with having all the bases available. Isn't he pretty? The collage I did while I was sick and there's more bases those I did the year before I got sick I don't know if I made a video on that or not I think it's time to get a box for all these bases though because because it's starting to hurt my hand here we go I have boxes over here Empty boxes. When I empty a box, I stick it over there. So I can stick these in here. All these faces. And then this would be, it's a book, but book pages that I use for um, I almost got one tray cleared off. And this is just the stuff that I had out like it had a home and then it then I got sick and I was moved everything in there to work on and so now basically a lot of this stuff I'm just putting back in its home this I use as a stencil so I put that with the stencils bases I'm not sure if there's much I can do with that one. That one's kind of sort of done. I don't know, but I don't know. Scrap. Bases. Woodpecker. And there's one I did while I was... That's pretty much decorated pocket. Base. 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 All about that base, but that base. No trouble. What are you doing? My goodness, she's all over my stuff. Somebody tell her. Stop. Shell, tell her to stop. Nathan, we need a laser pointer. You need to play with your cat. Okay, an acrylic block and a stamp and a stamp. And a brush. At least I can reach that container. And, whoops, more scrap, more paint chips. And I think Lori made that. Another base, another base, 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 base. Well, there's Happy Meal anyway, that um, uh, alcohol inks. I've got to do something with alcohol inks soon. I bought them and I've not done anything with them. That's just really sad. I'm tempted to take some of my painty bases and just sell them and be like, you guys play with them. I got too many. 
I just want to paint and play and then I end up with like too much too much to paint and play with and this bird is just weird looking I had the hardest time I kept putting him on tags and he looked weird all the time because he's just a funny looking bird and then you know some of these might have been perfect on some of those bases but could I find the bases and the picture at the same time that's the struggle those were some more stamps I got while I was sick they have a little bit of a nature there's another one of the nature stamps hey I'm not sorting this so that you can play with it and you don't want to get your picture taken so you might as well go do your own thing stop messing around with me Let's see. Uh, that was a stamp that I cut out, but I'm not, I'm not, not liking it. That's the die cuts that go with some other stamps that I had. Stamp. Bird. The bird on it. Look, we're almost to the bottom of this tray. Hallelujah. That is a, um, tab. <laughs> putting it with the bases for now. I figure I might make a uh, paper clip with it or something. That's a scrap, I guess. That's a frog. That's an egg. And then I was making some words. There's a word. There's a scrap. Uh, the leaves go with the flowers and stuff, I guess. Alright. So that's paper. Paper. Paper envelope, tag, tag, book page, book page, word, to the father, the book, and I'm gonna put that with scraps. That's probably the only place I'd be able to use it. Egg, bird. Put this with scraps too, because if I cut it out like a little die cut or whatever. Um, I can use it. I don't know what I can use that for. Just don't get mad at me if I throw something away. I can't use everything. Clear stamps, wintertime crafts. I forget which one that one was. That was one of them. Butterfly, egg, cat, cat. Turtle, rabbits. They go over here. Stamp, stamp. Ink, ink. Tag base. Oh my goodness, stuff's falling behind me. This is sad. So very sad. Alright. Um putting this just in here for now with that paper. Uh, I'm gonna put with scraps. It's just a flower that I call it. That's trash. My trash is so small, half the things I throw in it are landing on the floor. I'm gonna put that in there as a base for now. I have a thing for envelopes, but although it's kind of a finished envelope. Um, oh shoot, I can't remember her name, but she was in our group. I haven't seen her no hair of her for a while. But she sent me some a nice little happy mail after we had done a swap. And she saw, you know, which you don't have to do. If somebody sends you stuff for a swap and it's more than what the swap is, they're not doing it in expectation of anything, or they shouldn't be. And you don't have to go and give them more stuff. Sam Samnia, I think her name was. I haven't have you guys heard? Well, you're not in the group. Shouldn't even say her name. It was a private group. <laughs> Whoops. That wasn't her name, though. Um, she went by something else. Oh, she can't remember what she went by. But that's who that was from. And I'm going to find her YouTube channel. She's on YouTube. I have to figure out who she was and check on her. Make sure she's okay. Okay, one tray emptied. These are pockets those while I was sick I think. 
Painty papers, painty papers. Oh, getting back yeah, to they, work? They know that, like, the whole. Like, it's been a certain amount of time since I have the symptoms and okay. started in it. I am recording, by the way. All right, these are scraps. I like to keep my more neutrally type can be collage for background scraps on a different place, but I don't know that I really, well, I guess I, they're kind of together. All right, these can all be used on the backs. But they can also be used on the fronts. So that's what's frustrating is I'm just like, you see this is more, it was for a journal page, so I'd probably use that more for the back. All right. And that one, either one, I don't know. I guess it's a full page. We put it, oh, that's a full page too, for that matter. I guess some of those are full pages. This is a full page, but I would still use it to back. Um, I would still use it to back journal cards and stuff. And I need to have those always available to me because it's just helpful. This I use for both fronts and backs. And this is um, more delicate. It's a, from an 1800, it's from the 1800, is what that is. All right, I had a bag with neutral type scraps in it. Did I, did anybody see that bag? It might be right here, actually. There. Good. Now I have a place to put the neutrally type scraps. And then these inks are supposed to go right here on this shelf. Okay. Getting somewhere, I think. Scrap, scrap. And let's see, scrap. Stuff got just dumped. Scrap fabric scraps. These are pieces of ephemera, little tiny bolts thingies. These are scraps. This is base. It's actually pretty much, I think I finished it. No. Almost finished it. Oh no, that's the, um, that's like a little envelope. Yeah, this is done, I think. At least done enough to send in happy mail for somebody else to personalize for their journal. Okay. See, this is fabric, but it's also texture. So, I don't know. I'll stick it in fabric for now. And this box is pretty much already sorted. I'm going to put this book... This is uh, just a vintage book I use for collage. Put that there. And I think these were like backgrounds and stuff that I had in this. My aunt gave me this box and I just kind of used it as a, uh, I know where that is. not a template, but I know where that's determination. I know where that is too. It's at the uh, museum. All right, more bases, because we didn't have enough bases. That's a scrap. Oh wait, that one's finished. Yay. I did a bunch of painty bases right before I got sick and I don't love them, so I have a lot more. Show it to everybody. Huh. Put it under my camera here, show it to everybody. My son really likes Pokemon. And he knows I've been just laughing at all the Bernie Sanders pictures. Go this way. Yeah. So he saw so that one and that showed it to me. Sort of. Alright, I have all of these bases. Bases. I think these are all the bases that fell out of that little thing, but I think my bases have grown to a bigger box now, so I don't think they'll fit in there anymore. More bases. Excuse my head. had all these like kind of sorted so this is not got backing or anything so I'd actually put that with a scrap 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 bases 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 
what else? Is that just everything? With, all right, these are ones that are finished. But I think some book page got mixed up in there. Looks like some bases and pockets got, we'll put the pockets in there. Got mixed up in there. That is a, that's a scrap. That we don't need to see. Nobody needs to see that. A duck, a scrap, a scrap. All right, base, base, pocket. Base, 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 base. And these, I looked at these the other day because uh, my mother-in-law's birthday, she just had a birthday. And my husband was like, uh, do you have an envelope? I'm like, you're just going to write on a blank piece of paper? What are you planning to do? We didn't have a card or anything. So I grabbed out one of my journal cards. And then their anniversary is a few days later. So I had a journal card I had with like a couple on the front. So I gave them that one too. I said, here, send these. She liked them. She got them already. She liked them. He needs, this needs to be back. <clears throat> All right, so this is my box that has all my tags on it, in it. Well, it's supposed to be the box that has all the tags in it. Um, and they did fit at some point. All right, these are all bases. So my bases are now in. I don't know. They're in this smaller box. This. That's a frame. And that's more like a index card. The bases in there are they're um they're bases but they're um not index cards. They're like these kinds of cards. To, they're cards to cover and like flash cards and stuff like that. And then this is where I had on my paint cards at one point. All right. So that can kind of sort of fit there. I need to work on my, my boxes within my boxes, I guess. That's that. And then my finished ones also go in here. Hopefully not squishing my other ones. And then, so all my tags have to fit in this box. This is my container for my tag cards and pockets for right now, until I figure, unless I figure something better out. But, so they have to fit in this box. That's my container. That's, it's called the container concept. And Dana of A Slob Comes, comes Clean is, our container concept girl. You can find her. She's got her own channel, YouTube channel, or her own, her own website. All right, these full pages and half pages I'm gonna put in this box with the paper stamps. Animals. Oh, look, more bases. Oh, I had a box with uh, all right stickers. Where did I put my box of stickers? I had all my like fussy cutting stuff like separated by animals, people, flowers, butterflies, but I can't seem to keep them together to save my life. I don't know what's up with that. What do you guys? All right, these are all bases. That's a collage base. I need to do something with. That's a base. That's eh, this is not much of a scrap. That's a sticker. see that's almost a full page that's at least half a page same with that this is fabric scrap because you know all this ambition of making tags and that's a scrap these are scraps over here right and this is a bird what joe oh chicken or fish or it's food pantry tonight 
So maybe I'll just let you guys just be on your own for dinner. Yeah, I thought it was going to be leftovers because you already have two things of meat and then you just listed two more things of meat. Oh, well, we're not, if we have leftovers, then that answers your question right there. What? If we have leftovers, that answers your question right there about what's for supper. I had an egg for lunch. Well, it's different if it's... If it's, um, yeah, we're trying to eat less meat, but we're not very successful at it yet. Well, I'm just, I have been eating less meat anyway. They eat whatever. Yes, there's still taco meat from yesterday, but yesterday was Super Bowl. I had to make something fun, right? Bases. All right, I have this box over here that I want to get. What? Oh, yeah, there's baked potato. And that's probably, I'll probably just have a baked potato. Well, Nathan wants to make you some gnocchi. All right, let's see. But there's plenty of potatoes still. He just would have to cook another potato. So there's some lace. Stick that in my fabric box for now until I sort all of that box. So yeah, this is neutral paper. Look, more bases. Y'all, I have too much stuff. I mean, for goodness sake, I have a stormtrooper patch. I don't think that I, I was gonna at one point I was gonna make a um I just got that at thrift store from something. I was gonna make a, a Star Wars uh, journal. I had a little golden book and I had some fabric. But then I decided I'm not really feeling inspired to do that. It was just because the fabric was in with some other fabric is the only reason I thought about doing that. So this is my circus stuff. Sherlock Holmes. Uh, it's actually, I guess it's a sticker. I know, stickers and fussy cut, they're pretty much the same thing. More collage paper, more bases, pockets, and bases. Tickets. That's at least half a sheet right where do my box of paper go? I moved it to get this box, right? Oh, there it is. <coughs> Stuff wants to fall now. Um, this is a book page, but I would put it in a different place with book pages. Because it would be, there's my butterflies. Um, more, some French book pages that I would use for collage. Book page, that's falling apart though. Book page. Alright, this was my list. I still have to clean my floors. And let's see, cabinet fronts, window and sill, decor, garbage. So in the beginning of January, I was all decluttering and trying to get things clean and stuff. And so for the first two weeks, it was heavy duty, that kind of stuff. And then, boom, COVID hits and you're just back to square one, it feels like. All right, this is a finished tag. So I've got some die cuts in here and words and stuff. So this was stuff that I guess I grabbed from my ephemera thing. So I'll just sort those over on my, I have four rolly carts. One is for art supplies. One is for um, ephemera, embellishments, fussy cutting, that kind of stuff. I think there's a bird on our porch. Joel, is there a bird on the porch? Joel? Oh, never mind. I thought, <laughs> it's just one of the lights hanging down. I thought there was something that was sitting. All right, so I have one for art supplies. Plus I have art supplies in other places too. One for paper. Like most of the decorative paper, scraps, and stuff like that. One for embellishments, fussy cutting, and um, I think I also have like the vintage ephemera on there. And then it has, it's miscellaneous, has my personal journals and some works of progress and stuff like that. So I need to figure out this pile here. See, this is 
stuff from your craft studio, your creative studio, and it's actually sticker paper, but it's stuff that I would use for collage. So, you know, you just kind of have to, that's finished, um, decide for yourself, I guess, where your categories, even though you have categories, something might fit more than one category, and then you have to figure out what you want to do with that. These are all scraps. 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 Bunny. The bunny. The bunny. And then these are scraps because they're just, oops, really um, delicate. And so I've just been using them in collage. And this is also, they're full pieces of paper, but I would use them in collage and stuff like that. That was also from your creative studio. And that's kind of, I mean, I could do something with that. I just don't want to. This was, I couldn't remember how to do a multi-directional, I kind of remembered. I was trying to figure it out. I didn't get it centered. But you could put a picture on there and make this into a magnet, not magnet, paper clip. An altered paper clip, that's what I'm trying to say. And um, wherever you put it on the page, you can turn it. So that's a base, I guess. And a flour. Oh my goodness. Lotion because our hands got so dry from washing them all the time. So this I just need to sort over on my putting it over on my embellish embellishment. And then glue goes up here. Alright, before I move on, let me get stuff out of my hands. So, I mean, and it still looks the same as when I started here, basically. <laughs> I don't look any further done. So, I'm going to keep working on this. This is what I'm doing today is just sorting the things that I had in my room. I still have two boxes that I had in there. Um, but it kind of gives you an idea, you know, an idea of how I am trying to sort things. And sadly, a lot of it is just putting stuff away right now. Oh, look, there's more done stuff. Oh, that I did. That's what I wanted to do. I wanted to show you some of the things I made. This is, it's got a little pocket here and a little pocket here. And it could go probably, I think I meant it for to go this way. And this has a pocket here, a pocket here, and a pocket here. Well, if I glue that, it, it was glued. I need to re-glue it. It was a pocket. So those are some finished ones. I hope you didn't see any addresses on there. Not that you know who she is. Alright, and I've got some stickers and fussy coating in here. See if this was like a uh, Valentine's one or something. So she'd be like a little wintry, little wintry girl. Be really cute on there. I'd have to back her head with something. But. Um, get the fabric. Of course, the fabrics I had in there to and laces to make tabs, which never happened. So that was pretty grungy. That's a grungy one. It's pretty much done. This is a scrap, but it's a big giant scrap. Look at this, more bases. Oh, I think this might have been one of my base. This was a base box. This is um, it kind of fit in the top of the other one. I feel like that still needs something, but. I may just have to whittle down some of my bases. And uh, that one's done. That is mushrooms. And this is, oh, that's where my guest checks went. And speaking of mushrooms, finish that one. Good, I do have some finished ones in here. And that one. That one's just collaged. Any other finished ones in here? What is this? Yes, checks go in here. And those are just collaged. Collaged ones. Napkin goes in that thing that I had earlier. Oh, look, my little, my little acrylic block. Some doily that can go in scraps. These are just bases and stuff. 
So now I need to decide if I want to keep all my bases in that smaller box or if I want to get rid of or put them in the bigger box. And if I keep them in the smaller box, it may mean whittling down and getting rid of some. You know, the smaller boxes inside the bigger box. You know what I'm saying? So that's, that's what I have to decide now. Um, nope, that one's not done. I thought it was going to be. Maybe it's done. I don't know. It's ugly to me, so. Maybe it's not ugly to you. I don't love all these. This is probably why it's hard for me to finish them. Um, you know, that just needs a little something on it. That needs something added to it. That, I don't know. It's pretty much done. That somebody made for me. It was happy now. Or it was part, it was in a in with a swap. That is a pocket. Yep. So I don't think any of these are done. Well these no, those aren't really done either. That one's not even done even though it has a back on it. So much stuff. And it's kind of overwhelming. This one, I think, is supposed to go in a in one of my giveaways for my live. So I'll put it up there so I can lose it. Because that's probably what will happen. All right. I guess it's time for me. I keep saying that. I'm going to stop recording and then... But my voice is telling me that it's probably time. All right, let's see. What are we gonna do here? See, some of this stuff can actually go in other places too. And that's actually finished. We can go on a is that basically because that's just <clears throat> anything too long I could put on the outside of that box. And that's finished. There. Excuse my head again. So my rule to myself was that it had to fit in this big box, right? Those are pockets and envelopes, and they're finished. And that is stencil. And some of these need quite a bit of work. Um, in my mind, just because I need paint, gesso, collage, I don't know, whatever. But like this one just needs some stenciling or something pocket. These are pretty much, there are, I think they're already me's or, you know, some freebies that are nice to have for an easy, um, tag to put in, and, you know, to have it ready to go into a journal. Same with that envelope. And this is why um, a finishing things video needs to happen because of that box down there that just has a lot of tags that just need to get finished. It's just ridiculous. All right, we do have some fussy cutting in here, so that's good. And are you all right, Joel? I'm going to stick these, I think, if I can fit them. They're going to go back here. So, on the bottom of this box is the unfinished ones. And then here's the finished ones. 
and they fit in the box and I think that's all of them for now and I think our next video is going to have to be working on those unfinished ones and getting them finished so once I get all of my uh, fussy cutting and ephemera and labels and that straightened out I'll be able to do more of that so so yeah um, uh, you got to see all the other mess too it's really bad um, I probably should do a sh I have lots of befores they're just all it's all a mess and didn't you just love being able to see the um, fan the whole time I guess next time I will come in some more all right so that's me organizing wasting an hour of your time hopefully you watched it at double speed much more fun that way I love you guys have a delightful day bye